Welcome inside the video room, everybody. I'm Michael Grady, and I'm joined by Minnesota Mike. Pull up Conley, money! Mike Conley, point guard of your Minnesota Timberwolves. And Mike, I appreciate you joining me. I remember the word that I heard, heard thrown around a lot at the start of training camp was maturity to have a mature approach headed into this season. So many games were lost in the, down the stretch last season. There were a number of games that on paper you felt like the team should have won. It came a little short in. That has not been the case this season. That's a message from the coaching staff, from, from the players. What was the attitude day one in training camp? Day one for us was, you know, trying to get rid of that, that, that trauma, that, you know, that almost like a PTSD of sorts for, for losing games like that where, you come into a game and you know you're up five points going into the third quarter and you're like hey guys don't lose the lead like we always do like that's not the mindset we need to have we need to start stacking our our quarters just like man let's be better than the last quarter let's just continue to move forward and that kind of mindset has kind of allowed us to you know let all that other stuff float to the side and concentrate on what we need to do in the games and um, it's allowing us to win those games now you've been a part of young groups that that turn things around and we had a conversation before about mindset about how it shouldn't just be about let's get to the playoffs we want bigger and better could you kind of expound on that i've been a part of some teams who started from the ground up and jumped in on some teams that were built ready to win and what i've learned is your mindset has to be consistent in the fact that you can't come in thinking that we're okay winning 40 games or okay being in the eighth seed or seventh seed or okay making a playoff win or two. Your mindset's got to be, I want to win a championship. And then all those other things that you accomplish along the way are accomplished. Conley wants three. Yes! So you kind of hold yourself to a higher standard in everything you do, you know, whether it's nutrition, your body, work ethic, you know, on the court, off the court, like all that stuff is, is consistently the same every day. And, um, and that's what I'm striving to do for myself and for the team, you know, this year. Here comes Conley the other way. Pull up three. Boom! Timberwolves on fire! And you, you played for a long time. You have all the tricks in the bag. This is decision making here mm -hmm. against the Sixers. So this is a side pick and roll. Rudy does a good job of spreading out. Ant rises up a little bit early from the corner, which kind of makes it a little bit easier to read because now I'm reading if Nick Batum, who normally is the only guy that can help on Rudy's role, um, if he does any kind of you know look off or like pays attention to Rudy at all or just puts his attention that way, I'm thinking I'm throwing it to Ant immediately. If if he doesn't, if he t stays attached to uh, Ant. I'm looking at Rudy, and then I'm looking at the backside guy there, which is Tobias Harris. If he pulls over, I'm thinking cross court to Cat mm. if he gets to the corner. So all those things kind of pop off really quickly. I pick the ball up and kind of hesitate to look at Rudy to see what yep. Nick Batum's going to do. And we teach Rudy to try to get behind that big as quickly as he can uh, okay. on that roll, uh, which he did there. And anytime he does that, it just puts pressure. Oh, yeah. You see Nick just take two steps that way. You know, it was enough enough time to get Anna a good look. How dynamic does it make this offense? It continues to be a work in progress, but we've seen the high shooting percentage um, this season. How much easier does it make your job knowing that you have weapons that, that bring gravity toward them? My game is so easy right now. It's just, <laughs> I guess, the easiest it's been in a long time where I just I just got to make reads. Like, I really do. I, I don't have to do too much. I can set the table for these guys who I know can make plays. So I just go out there and just try to run the show as best I can and continue to, to, to make those plays when we need them. All right, talk about making plays when you need them. Oh, Let me yeah. go to this sequence here. Yeah, this is a... Uh, this is a big moment during the season, I think. Uh, really tested us. Uh, late game, you got 30 some seconds left. We don't call timeout. You know, we're trying to catch them while they're not set. And we give our ball to the best player. Uh, Ant makes a play. He looks weak side, and you know, I was hoping he'd find me. I just sitting there spot up and, and ready to shoot it uh, when my number was called and, and made the shot. But you give Ant credit there, man. That's a growth moment for him. We talked about that, you know, preseason even last year. I don't think he makes that play. I think he tries to shoot that and maybe not get the best look. You know, just him being able to trust his guys at a late game like this, a big moment, says a lot about him. I know he's talking to coaches, but but he has to be talking to you, the point guard. How, how, how many conversations have you guys had about keeping your head up and making those those reads. We talk about it all the time. I, I reference other guys in the league all the time that are kind of took the path that he's taken, a young star, and had to grow into a guy that also is a playmaker for his team because they create so much gravity. And um, 
he's definitely one of those guys, Cat's one of those guys, Rudy's one of those guys where you can say, hey man, all you gotta do is make the easy play. And just Sometimes it might just be a quick swing right across the top of the court. And just because you're not making the assist doesn't mean that you didn't make the right play. Somebody's gonna get a good look. And we've built this team in a way that we've got a lot of depth, a lot of guys who can help you. So I think he's realizing that. And this moment, I think, really helped him develop that a little bit more. Oh, back door, Edwards, two-hand throw down. 